Welcome everyone. In this video, we will explore templates in eLab FTW. There are several ways to access the management of templates. We click on the small figure at the top right and then on templates. Here we are in the user panel and can already see the templates. Our scope is currently set to self. We could also set it to team or everything to see more templates that are shared with us. Let's stay with self for now. You can view the existing templates, edit them, or create new ones here. We will now create a new template and press Create. Naturally, it needs a title. Let's name it Tutorial Video. We end up directly in the editing mode and it already looks familiar to us from experiments and resources. Let's choose a category, status, and a tag. In the next step, there is already an addition. You can define permissions for the template, who can see this template, and who can edit it. And you can set the permissions for the derived experiment, which can of course be changed in the created experiments. In the template, you can also insert additional information. In our case, this might include instructions on how to proceed when producing a video. So people who use this template already have an instruction in their notebook entry. For laboratories, on the other hand, work instructions could be provided here. Consider what makes sense for your templates. Of course, you can also add extra fields steps, or even link resources. Fine, let's press save and go back to the list. Finally, I'd like to point out that when creating a lab notebook entry, only the templates that are pinned will be visible. You can easily pin the templates here or deactivate them. Great, in the next video, we'll talk about the user control panel, especially since we're already in it. Thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact us or leave a comment. Goodbye.